Do you have a prediction for Miguel versus uh, Jack? Yeah, that if, you want, if you're thinking about betting, your best move is to leave your money in your pocket <laughs> because I can't tell you who's going to win this fight. Um, I see two different scenarios. I mean, if... if I think the Gale has an, you know, the Gale's an excellent, excellent boxer, and, and and if he can lay the pressure on Jack the whole way, I think he probably wins. If he if he fights the fight he fought with Durrell, where he like sort of took some rounds off, switched off, and and you know took his his foot off the pedal, then Jack's gonna win. This is a there's, there's no accident that this is the two best guys. You know, it, it, this is a very difficult fight to call. Um, you know, this is a unification fight, and you know these are most definitely the two best fighters at 168 pounds. There's a lot of other guys in the other weight divisions that are trying to unify all the titles. Are you and some people are thinking that there's way too many world titles in all the weight classes? Are you have that camp? Yeah, I always lie, man. I'd always prefer to see one champion. I'd always prefer to see fewer champions. I'm up that camp. Um, so making this card for for the Barclays Center, I know there's a bunch of big boxing cards. I'm sure in store for New York, but it's gotten a little harder with these with the new laws here. Well, the, it harder. yeah, the new laws aren't really going to hurt the big big fights. Mm -hmm. You're going to see a big another big fight going to be announced in the next few days. You probably know it already. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a clue. Garcia Thurman, Thurman Garcia. Yeah. Um, you know, you, it's already Triple G and, and Danny Jacobs is on sale already. Those level of fights, the insurance is affordable. Um, but they've really put a block on grassroots boxing, on small shows, on club shows, on show box level shows. The smaller shows simply can't afford the freight. And, and someone's got to look at how that law got passed and why. Because how does a law that's designed to allow MMA into the state do so much harm to boxing? Uh, something smells. Yeah.